Hi guys, we've got another exciting paracord tutorial for you guys today. We are doing the two lovers or two rings string puzzle. Um, it's going to involve a little bit more than paracord today, um, so bear with us. The goal of this puzzle is to get both rings on the same side or the same paracord loop without detaching anything from our board. Let's get started. We've got a 2x4 here. Um, we're going to be cutting that down to about 6 to 8 inches. It's not exact. And then we've got two wooden rings that are new in our store, along with a couple drill bits. You can find these at a hardware store. Um, and then about five feet of paracord. And then of course our, our normal tools of scissors and a lighter. The two drill bits that we'll be using is a one inch diameter Forstner bit and just a normal quarter inch drill bit. The important thing on this bit is that it just has to be a smaller diameter than our rings. Because you don't want these rings to be fitting through the hole that we're going to drill with this. Let's head out to the shop. With your Forstner bit, find the middle of your board and then move off to one side. After drilling this hole, exchange your bit for the quarter inch. And then along the same side, in each corner, you're going to drill a quarter inch hole. It looks something like this. Then take your paracord, find the middle, and put it down through the big hole, and pull the ends through that loop, making a cow's hitch. And then on each of these strands, you're going to want to put one of your rings, like that. And then insert the end. If it's this side, insert it into the same side. And we're going to tie a double overhand knot. Wrap it around twice, and then through the hole. Pinch that down. Any knot will work, it just needs to be big enough so that the cord doesn't slide through the hole. And we will trim the end of that later. Flip it back over. So then just adjust your loop so that it's not quite so long. About like that is, is good. You know, so it's hanging off about six inches or so. And then the other side, do the same thing, insert it through, and just adjust first on this one so you can have all your excess cord on the same side. So now our loop's about the same size. Flip it over and tie the double overhand here too. trim our ends. Like usual, we'll just cut it about a quarter inch from the knot, melt it and flatten it. So the thing about this puzzle is, we're not going to tell you how to solve it. You've got to wait until next week to find out. If you make this and figure it out before we release the solution, let us know. Links to all the supplies used to make this string puzzle are found in the description. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. Otherwise, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you with the solution next week.